What's good guys, it's Brero and today I'm showing you everything that I eat in Puerto Rico. From vegan options to vegan restaurants, I'm showing you every single thing that I eat. I hope you enjoy it and check it out. All right, so I have my vegan brownie right here, which looks so luscious and moist. And then we have our cortado, which is made with cashew milk. Oh, that is strong. <laughs> It has like a slight sourness to it, I would say. Definitely not sweet, but I feel like this is gonna do the job that it needs to do. <laughs> and especially with the brownie, I haven't tried the brownie yet, let's try it, but like, I feel like they're gonna balance each other out. Look how, look how moist and chocolatey that is. It's so soft, slightly crispy on the edges. It's really good. Definitely one of the best brownies I've ever had. Yeah, the brownie and the coffee are perfect together. All right, check this out. We have platano maduros, and then we have some mofongo right here. I know, I know. Fredo, you're eating so much platano, so much plantains. Well, you know what, don't judge me. I wanted it, I wanted to try it and see how this lady made it. But she was also also like asking me if I wanted to put some of the meat juices and stuff on top. And I'm like, no, I'm good. Mm -hmm. It all came out to $6. I gave her seven for a tip. Bussin, bussin. <laughs> I'm about to have this icy right here, which is passion fruit. Yeah, I don't know why I said fruit like that. Fruit. Passion fruit is good, refreshing, good. Three dollars, left them a dollar, so it's four dollars. So we have this tofu on ciabatta. That's what it said. There you go. Ooh, that looks good. It definitely tastes Sloppy Joe-esque. Pretty satisfying. <sighs> yeah, you taste, the, you taste the pineapple. That's good. So AJ has her own meal right there. Mm -hmm. Dancy, dancy, already know. And then I have my own meal right here and my coffee because of course I needed my coffee. You gotta quaff it and you gotta eat your oatmeal. <laughs> All right, I just ate one of these bars. They're not that great, but I had the peanut butter one. No offense, RX bar, but like it does the job. I had the peanut butter one. This one is not as good as the peanut butter, but. You eat what you can. We're all cheers, guys. Oh, we're gonna take a video too. I'm gonna put this up. Oh, yeah. I need a video. Well, is it okay to put you guys on my Instagram? Yeah. I'm totally fine with that. All put their hands on top of me, and like, this is the very first time this has ever happened to me ever because I've never had somebody else break from me. This food looks incredible. Oh, yeah. Look it's how juicy. Jealous. It's a veggie patty with yeah. avocado, maduro, all the good stuff. Lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, pickles. Sorry, what a chip. That was good. Yeah, I told yeah. you. Told yeah. you. There's pretty good stuff in there. So many different flavors in that one veggie burger. Right. Like the sweetness, the savoriness. The different textures, like it was freaking perfect. So a little yeah. bit of everything. All right, I'm about to order some food from a place called Asia de Lima. They have vegan and vegetarian options, and I'm gonna get this one. We gotta try. Check that out. All right, so I just picked up the pizza from outside, had it delivered, and here it is. <laughs> Looks like it's been through a hot mess, but hopefully it tastes good. Oh. 
Yeah, this is interesting. I hope <laughs> this tastes good. It looks like elementary school carrots on there, like the frozen um I, I hope this is good. And I also have some beers, so hopefully this makes up for it, if that is not great. It is interesting. Don't think of it as pizza. Just think of it as lentils on like thin crust with veggies on top. It is pretty sweet from the carrots. Maybe they even the onions. Mm-hmm. Not terrible. I mean, will I buy it again? Maybe not, but it's not terrible. It has a nice little spice to it. It's kind of growing on me. Good morning. I'm just having a bar before I head out. So this is gonna not really be my breakfast, but my for now breakfast. All right, here's a passion fruit drink. Looks so frothy and good. I am definitely craving something like this right now. So this is like a crunch wrap type thing right here with some cheese, some spinach, some veggies and all that good stuff. Little side salad. Looks so good, smells so good. And then we also have the chef special. This also has some plant-based meat inside of it. And we have some rice, some beans, carrots, avocado. Oh, that's nice. Very nice, very passion fruity. <laughs> There's like fruit pieces in there, so good. That is delicious. Definitely fresh tasting, and then the combination with the cheese gives it more savory taste. The flavor, so good. Now I'm gonna try this little side salad type joint. Mm. Mm. I don't know what cream that they use, but it's really good. It tastes fresh, but it doesn't taste like, you know, how you would describe something as, oh, that tastes healthy in a bad way. No, this tastes really good. Now let's try the chef's special. I'm gonna start with the rice and beans, because why not? So simple, yet so good. Mm. All right, now, Time to try this one. Mm. The sweet and savory combination. Perfect. I think I'm gonna do it. The tropical dragon bowl. Can I do the medium tropical dragon bowl just without honey? Maybe with pineapple or papaya? Uh, let's do papaya. I think they put some honey in this. I told them not to, but it doesn't seem like that much. But you know what? I'm not gonna have them make this entire thing all over again. That's such a waste. Just having another one of these nasty bars. <laughs> Coffee is actually really good. Good job. <laughs> All right, so I decided I'm gonna try one of these little snacks that I got the other day. She said this one is filled with pistachio. So, check it out. Pistachio and coconut, from what I remember, and sugar. I think. There we are. See? And then here's the filling. Pretty good. Definitely coconutty. 
and the pistachio flavor is definitely there. And there's a little pistachio pieces in there too. All right, so I picked up food from 100% HQ, AKA Cien Por Ciento. All right, for starters, we have arroz con gandules. Next, we have relleno de papa. It's like potato with meat inside, and this one actually has impossible meat. Next, we have acapuria HP. This also has impossible meat in it as well. And lastly, we have empanadilla de pizza. And to go along with all of that stuff, I also have a coconut soda drink. I think it's a texture for me for the gandules. Like, I never really was a fan. The flavor is there, it's just the texture, which you can not really do too much about. But it's good. All right, next, let's try this acapuria. I mean, I'm not sure if you could, but yeah, there we go. See that right there. Mmm. That is really good. Nice crispy outside. And then that impossible meat texture. So good. Very flavorful. Tastes like you're eating mashed potatoes with meat. Because the potatoes are mashed and there is plant-based meat. That's pretty good too. Lastly is the pizza empanadilla. Let's tear this apart. Nice and flaky. Look at all that. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. It tastes like pizza that is very well seasoned. <laughs> Everything came out to $23. I left a tip because I was actually supposed to stay there and I just left the regular tip. But Oh, let's try to drink. Midway through drinking it, I was like closing my eyes because it was so good. <laughs> Cocorico, another great vegan spot. Like, if you're looking for Puerto Rican, Caribbean food that is plant based, this is another place that I would recommend. It is pretty freaking good. I just ordered a mango smoothie from this place over here. And yo, Google Translate comes in clutch because he doesn't know English and obviously I don't know how to ask that in Spanish. So it's just ice, water, and mango. So that's what I'm gonna have here. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Got the mango smoothie. I'm actually gonna have to dump that off. Yeah, I'm just gonna do the smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was winning here. Dumped off the whipped cream and the cookie. That's freaking good. Straight up mango, ice, and water. That's it. I went to Baladar in San Juan, which is a higher end vegan spot, and I got their soursop drink, which was incredibly good. But as far as the food goes, it wasn't that great in my opinion. It just felt like it lacked flavor, and because I spent $20 on it, I would expect a little bit more. And it might be different because I did take it to go, but I don't know. I just kind of expected more. No offense but I would be willing to try it again, just maybe a different meal. All right, I'm about to have this bar to end the night. All right, they're not serving breakfast today, so I just grabbed a cheetah pudding that they had in the fridge, $6, and I'm having this before my flight, so yeah.
All right, guys, thank you for watching everything that I eat in Puerto Rico. I would appreciate it if you liked this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also leave me comments. If you're interested in following me on Instagram, I'll link that in the description below. And until next time, peace.